Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share with your friends, and don't forget to like. Hello guys, welcome to Tino Tech Hacks. If today is your first time, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Whatever you want to learn in IT, I'm here to help you. Today we're going to talk about Windows, Microsoft Windows. Windows have come a long way. There are different versions of Windows, but today we are going to talk about Windows 10. But before we start with Windows 10, I would want us to see some of the versions of Windows that we have. Some of the versions of Windows that has existed before, we have uh, the Windows Me, Windows XP, Windows 8, Windows 98, Windows 99, Windows 7, Windows 2000, Windows Vista, Windows 3, Windows 2, Windows 1, Windows NT, Windows Server 203, Windows 95, we have a lot. Windows XP, we also have Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, when we talk of Windows 10, we have different versions of Windows 10. We have the Windows 10 Home, we have the Windows 10 Pro, we have the enterprise, we have the business. Mostly, those of us who work in the homes, we use the Windows 10 Home. But those of us who work in companies, schools, offices, most use Windows 10 Pro, and then businesses uses Windows 10 Enterprise. Yeah, that's it. All right, so today I would want us to go through the Windows 10 and see how it works. When it comes to Windows 10, this is your desktop. Every Windows. So, everything you see here is the desktop. Now, the reason why we call it the desktop is that it is related to the desk that we use in our offices and in our homes. For example, in the office desk, you have like a pen, you have like a pencil, you have like an eraser, a ruler, did I say ruler? Ru ruler, yes. Uh, any other tool that you can use in your office, the books, the diaries, everything, they are found on the desk in the office. So the desktop basically tells us that all the things that we are doing in our computer, the tools that we need can be found on the desktop. Now on the desktop, we have little pictures on the screen. These little pictures, we call them icons or desktop icons. So when you look on my desktop right now, you can see that I have a couple of icons here. I have Microsoft Edge. I have Adobe After Effects. I have EOS Webcam. I have Audacity. I have CripCut. I have AVG Secure Browser. We have different types of desktops, uh, sorry, icons that we use on the desktop. So they are like tools, they are softwares, programs or applications that help us to execute specific jobs or tasks. So let's look at the Windows 10. When you look down here, you're going to see a bar here. We call it the task bar. The task bar. Now, when you look here, you're going to see that there is a start menu, like four little boxes or squares. This is what we call the start menu. Basically, that is the Windows logo. So when you click on the start menu, every other thing that you are looking in your PC can be traced from there. So these are recently added. I have added some apps or applications recently zoom is the latest application that i downloaded yes we have after effect we have adobe dreamweaver this is used for programming or building of website uh, this is for editing we have the avas which is the antivirus i also have avg which is also an antivirus this is the avg browser we have blender blender is also used for animations yeah 
We have other tools like the calculator, the calendar, any other thing that you are looking for. When you click on the start menu, you are going to find it there. Now, when you look at this icon, this icon is the power button. When you click on the power button, there are three options or more than three options that come. This is called the sleep. When you click on this, what happens is that the computer goes back to sleep. Basically, to sleep means it has to be idle. Maybe you want to leave the computer and go and do something emergency. When you click on that, the computer goes to rest for you for some time. Then you have the shutdown. The shutdown turns off the computer. So this is the proper way of turning off your computer. Most people like to press on the power button on the system unit to switch off the computer. No, that is wrong. If you keep doing that, one day your, mem um, your hard drive is going to crash and you're going to lose your valuable, important data. Then this is the restart. Maybe the computer gets stuck or something. You want to boot it again. You click on restart, then it will restart. Yeah. So we have cold booting and then we have warm booting. This one is called warm booting. When you restart the computer whilst it is still operation, still in operation, we call it warm booting. So that is what the power button does for you. Now, when we click on this, that is settings. It takes us into the computer. Any settings that we want to do is there. So this is system settings, apps, applications, install and uninstall default apps. They are all there. We have the search button. We have uh, devices like printers, mouse, and Bluetooth devices that we connect to the computer. We have accounts, number of people who can use the computer. You can create separate account for each and everybody. We have privacy, that is your location, your camera, and your microphone. Then we also have phone, that is uh, Android phones and uh, um, iPhones that you can link to your computer. Here we set time and languages region, location, date, yes, then update and security. If you want to get the latest update of the system you are using, when you come here, you can do that. Then we have networks and internet. So when you want to connect to your Wi-Fi, you want to switch to airplane mode, you want to connect to VPN, this is where it is done. We have gaming, that is game bars, how to play games, how to install games, how to set games, how to capture games, they are all there. Then we have personalization and background screens so if i want to change the background screen of my computer i can come here there are short ways to do it also then you have ease access narrator magnifier and high contrast we also have web browsing recommended here uh, we have um, rewards we have one drive we have windows update last check one hour ago and this is the account. So this is the account that is using the computer. So the owner of the computer is the empty no. Yeah. All right. So that is it. We will come back here and learn different things here in future if the need arises. Okay. Now, when I click on my start button also, there are other things I can look for. When I scroll up here, I can see pictures, documents, etc now when you look here you will see that some icons are here we have office 365 we have many other things here that we can talk about i wouldn't want to waste your time that much but when the time comes we will come back there and learn them now on the task bar here you're gonna see that it says type or search so we're gonna look for what we want to do so for example if i am looking for a file a folder when i type here it has to come i click i can just type um passport Now, when I type passport, I can see that somebody's passport is there. I wrote Gloria passport. Any other passport is there. There are some other passports that are on my computer. So when I click on them, they are going to open. Now, when you look up here, you see all. You see apps. You see documents. You see web. And then when you click on more, you see other files like folders. 
music, photos, settings, and videos. So when you want to make a search, depending on what you are looking for, when you are looking for everything, then just select all. But when you are looking for an application, you click on apps, and then all the apps that are related to that name is going to come. Now when you look here, you're going to see that there is no app here related to the name Passport. But when I look for a different app like Blender, it has to come because I have an app called Blender here. So you can see that Blender has come. When I'm looking for Microsoft Word or Word, when I type Word, Word will come. So I have Word, I have WordPad. All of them are there. So any other application that you are looking for, when you click Apps, it will come. Documents. Documents are files that I have saved in my computer. It could be a Word file. It could be a PDF file. Any document that is on my PC, when I search for it from here, I will get it. Then we have the web. That is when what you are searching on the PC is not in the PC, but it is an external file. You go to the web and then you look for it. Then we have more. When you click there, you can look for folders. You can look for music. You can look for pictures. You can do settings. You can do look for video. So that is what it is. Now, when you click here and you come here, you're going to see that anything that you type is going to be shown here. It could be a link to a website. It could be from Wikipedia. It could be from anywhere that it is. When I take this thing off here, all the applications in my, in my PC are going to be listed here. So you can see that those things that I will search, they all come here. When I click on this, every application that is in the PC can also be seen here. So it is like in and out of the same thing. There is no much difference about it. Okay, now on the taskbar, you're going to see that some applications are, are here. These are applications that I have pinned to the taskbar. I pinned them. To pin it means I kept it there so that when I'm looking for it, it becomes easy for me to see. So, for example, if I want to open Microsoft Edge, I'll just click on it from the taskbar and then automatically Edge is going to open for me like that. You see? Because it's, it is there already. Then, um, if I'm looking for a folder, I'll just click here and then all folders are going to open for me straight away then i'll be looking for whatever i'm looking for okay from there we also have the microsoft store that is where we download applications from like the way we have google android uh how do you call it play store we also have apple store we also have huawei app store this one is also called microsoft store so when you go to microsoft store any game you are looking for any software you are looking for when you go there either paid version or free version you are going to get it from there so let's say i am looking for adobe illustrator when i search for it i gotta get it from there yes so this is Adobe Creative Cloud, when I download this and I sign up with them, any other app related to Adobe, I am going to get it. When you scroll down, you will see a lot of, we have Adobe Fresco, blah, 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 blah. They are all there in the Microsoft Store. Then you can see my Google Chrome. My Google Chrome has also been pinned here, so when I click on it automatically, my Google browser is going to open for me. Then I can go through and then do whatever I want to do. If I want to go to Facebook, I want to browse, I want to watch a movie, anything, I can get it from there. Then this is my application that I'm using for my work. Uh, that is Filmora. I can also use it. Now, anytime you see that there is a line under it here, you will see that that is an application which is running already. It means it has opened. For example, when I double click on Zoom for it to open, Zoom will be come paste on the taskbar. You can see it's pinned there, it's placed there. 
it means that particular app is running already okay then here too you can see the weather how hot how cold the temperature is on the weather so when you click here you can just come here and anything that is trending you're gonna see now we have 73 degrees fahrenheit yeah so that's it you can check for every country of your choice and whatever you are looking for you are going to find it news update etc 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 okay then this is what we call the system tree what it does basically is that it hides some icons so when i click on it you will see that i have a usb inside this is my windows security when i click on it any settings related to security about my computer is there my firewalls virus protections account protection any other security that i need about my pc shall be found here when i come back there i also have my antivirus you can see that it says you are protected so if you have a computer and you don't have an antivirus installed on it that means you are not protected this is my network my wi-fi it is connected this is my speakers this is a gopro camera that i installed they kept it there and this is the recording that i'm making this is my filmora recording that's the microphone and uh, these ones this one is when you want to meet someone on uh, uh, microsoft teams and other stuff we also have our time and our calendar here so you can see today's date is seven the time is 7 49 blah 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 yeah all right so we have a lot and here to notification any notification that comes to the pc i am going to see it so this is the basic introduction to windows 10. any other thing that comes up later i am going to show you thank you for signing up thank you for subscribing thank you for joining see you another time bye bye